What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's been having a great, great Taco Tuesday. The NFL season, my God, is so short. We are on the cusp of week 15. It literally is literally right here, okay? Today is Taco Tuesday. I've been in my workshop doing some work, and as the the etching machine is, uh, the CNC machine is doing its thing, it's taking a break, and I was reading comments. I try and read as many comments as possible, and I want to say thank you to everybody who has sent condolences to Rashid's family and things, because today was actually a very difficult day saying goodbye to him. I have, um, let me say it's thank you to you guys, because uh, Michael said that he raised money to give Rashid uh, this Daniel Jones autographed Giants helmet and we ended up buying that at one of the shows Rashid was working at the time and couldn't go to the show and it was something that he had treasured very very much um, his family members said they wanted me to have it to go back here in the man cave and stuff and so I have it up on the shelf and Rashid's urn that was there he was cremated they had these blue candles that were around the urn in the shape of a heart. And I asked him if I could keep one of the, it, they're not real candles, they're the battery powered ones. And I asked his family if it was okay if I could actually keep one of those. And I have one and it's really cool because when I turn it on and put it inside of the helmet, you get this blue glow and so on. You know, I, I always think of life being short and life being precious. You know, I say Cowboys life sentence. It is, it is like a life sentence because I will be a Dallas Cowboy fan till the day I die. But one thing I don't, I can't stand. Okay, I don't always get things right. I can tell you that I, I, I'm wrong. You know, I predicted Cowboys doing a lot of things like a lot of people, and I can be wrong on that. One thing I don't do is lie. And I don't know why I'm letting this one bother me, but I am. I got this comment from when I did my video, Dallas Cowboys have a secret weapon, weapon nobody's talking about. This guy, Reggie Jackson, has got a clown cowboy face, and maybe that's about fitting. And he said, I don't remember you saying anything about Prescott at the Senior Bowl. You started about him when he became a star for the Cowboys. Knock it off, bro. Now, one thing you can, it, it, here's the thing, is this is actually my second channel. And so, I did videos about Dak Prescott when I literally saw the Senior Bowl. Because if you remember about the Senior Bowl in 2016, Jason Garrett and crew were the coaches of of the senior bowl because the cowboys were ass ass because we were four and 15 i'm sorry four and 12 and in that 2015 season and that's why the talk was after tony romo getting hurt that the cowboys might be interested in carson wentz and see i'm not i wasn't a college football guy i'll be the first one to admit that i don't watch enough college football i just don't have enough time my devotion is the dallas cowboys every single day and so I watched the Senior Bowl because we had our coaching staff that was watching, but was coaching it, and I wanted to see about this guy Carson Wentz, who might be our quarterback of the future. And as I watched that game, I saw Dak Prescott play, and he played better than Carson Wentz, and he became the MOP. And I was like, MOP? What happened to MVP? MOP is what they called it. And I said to myself, I said, why is nobody talking about this guy now? I would show you that video to prove that's when I talked about it, but unfortunately, my channel was deleted. That channel was deleted, I think, in 2018 or 2019, and this was my second channel that was my cooking channel, so I started doing things on this channel again. So I would show you the evidence of it if I still had those videos. And I know what you're saying right now, bro. You're like, yeah, see, he lied. And now he's trying to cover up the dirt out there. I'm right. Mark Holmes didn't know shit. Well, I got to tell you, there's a couple of things, a couple of players that I have looked at and I said would be a difference maker. I wanted the Cowboys to draft Aaron Donald, but he ended up getting drafted before us. I wanted us to get Calais Campbell when he was a free agent 
from Arizona. Before we went to Jacksonville and people told me, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. He's too expensive. And that guy only gets about, you know, six or seven sacks a season. And the next year in Jacksonville, he had, I want to say, 14 and a half sacks and was runner up as defensive player of the year. I wanted to get Demario Davis and had Demario Davis sitting right there where I interviewed right here in the studio. And he was a free agent coming from the Jets. And I said, this is the guy to get. And said they drafted Leighton Van Der Esch, Leighton Van Der Esch. Well, Demario Davis hasn't missed a game since being with the New Orleans Saints. Has about 120 sacks, excuse me, tackles and about five or six sacks a season. And is the heart and soul of that defense. And that would have been a great move as well as Calais Campbell, as well as Aaron Donald. So I would show you the video from my channel if I still had it, but I don't. So you can take my word for it or you can take this because somebody before my channel was deleted took the video and they copied it themselves. And how I can prove that it was me because I know what you'll say is, oh, well, that was somebody else's video. Well, I can tell you that they took my video because it was back when I first started doing the YouTube. And I had Joe Boo, and I would hold Joe Boo in front of me and move him around like this, like he's talking. Because I was a man behind the camera who used to stutter and didn't like being in public. Things have changed. And also, you'll see that I literally recorded this off of the television screen. And so it's very low, low depth. So it was 2016. So let me play my evidence for you.
Hmm. Wow. Thanks for watching the Joe Boo Sports Report. Click, huh? So, Reggie, Reggie calling me a liar. Don't, I'm, I'm saying, listen, here's what's cool about the internet. The internet never forgets and the internet is never defeated. I was on Dak Prescott's bandwagon. In fact, I went to Chicago, met Jay Tuck. In Chicago, was there, got Joe Boo on the stage at the draft in day two and had a signed draft Dak Prescott. You can call me a lot of things, and most people will say that I've always been a Dak Prescott lover and that, uh, you know, I act like he's my son and this, that, and the other. It's because I've always believed in him. And the funny thing is, when that video was made, when I did that video in 2016, Excuse me. In 2016, I only had a few hundred subscribers to the channel. And nobody watched that video. Nobody watched that video when it came out. I think it had probably 100 views and stuff. Shout out to anybody who has been a member or a uh, subscriber of the Joe Boo Sports Report since 2016. Because it was that video right there was the video that put me on the map. And I'm glad somebody actually copied, copied it. Because when Tony Romo got hurt, people were looking for anything and everything about Dak Prescott. And people came across that and they said, wait a minute, this guy was saying the Cowboys should draft Dak Prescott. And they watched this and then Dak Prescott became the starting quarterback for the Cowboys. And it was that October 10th, my birthday, 2016 that I hit my first 1,000 subscribers because of that video because of Dak Prescott and that's why maybe that's why I've always been a Dak Prescott fan defender whatever you want to call it and right now I look like I was right so anybody else want to call me a liar by all means let me know I'm Mark Holmes and well We'll end it with this. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. Versatile. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Caleb Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. <laughs>